Okay, so today is going to be the start of Unit 8, which is circle geometry. And I know you're thinking, why then, if we're doing circles, do you have a video that starts with the Pythagorean Theorem Review? And that is because we are going to be focusing a lot on triangles, okay, and specifically right angle triangles in this unit. So we're going to do a hefty review. This is really important because uh, in both Math 10 classes, um, they have a trigonometry uh, section, so you're not going to avoid uh, right angle triangles and the Pythagorean theorem for, for long here. So we're going to just nail this down. We've got lots of time to review. So I'm just going to get you started off. So this is where the name is. I'm just going to write the Pythagorean theorem, okay, which is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of both legs. So let's just take a look here. Let's just remember that this is the right angle, so therefore this is the hypotenuse right across from the right angle, which we always label as C. And these are the legs, and so you name one of them A and one of them B. And remember, we talked about this when we uh, looked at the Pythagorean Theorem review before, that these two are actually interchangeable. So as long as you have the hypotenuse labeled properly across from the right angle, you're going to be good to go. Okay, so how would we find this? Well, we always set up the formula and then we substitute in for what we know. So the unknown right now is C, the A I wrote down as six, B I wrote down as eight, so we're gonna work that out, 36 plus 64, and when we work that out, we get 100, and remember, we're solving for C, and currently that says C squared, so just as algebra rules as well, we're gonna do the inverse or opposite operation of squaring, which is finding the square root, whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So C is equal to 10. And then I always put it back in over here because I want to take a look and make sure I did it properly. We know that the, one of the characteristics of the hypotenuse is that it's always the longest side of a right angle triangle. So if you ended up getting something weird here like 7, you'd know you're wrong and you'd go back to the drawing board and see where you made your mistake. Or if you put 100, you should take a look and go, wow, that seems extreme. And then you're going to remember, I forgot to find the square root of that. Okay, so the rest of this worksheet is a little bit more... Um, uh, like I, I guess a little bit higher thinking, right? We're going to have a lot of uh, word problems in here and that's because I really want you to have to be able to think about things and draw things out. It's going to be super helpful um, as we head into the unit. So we're going to do Pythagorean Theorem Review today. Tomorrow we're going to take a look at the interior sum of uh, angles of triangles, which if you remember, they all add up to 180. And then once we get those two little things sort of out of the way, then we can jump right into the circle unit. Okay, so not a huge assignment today, but uh, just really important stuff before we get into things here. Okay, enjoy your day.